Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, hey, hi, hi, welcome. My name is Kendra. Alrighty, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little vlog. And I'm sorry, I know I look a mess, but it is Wednesday. I do not know the exact date, but it's the day before Christmas. Let me go check my home. So it was Wednesday the 23rd. So it's the day before Christmas and right now me and boyfriend we're gonna go ahead and try to clean up this house before we leave because tomorrow we are going to my parents' house, which this is gonna be my boyfriend's first time going to where I am from basically he'll see all my high school friends and he'll go and see my school he'll see where basically where I spent I guess a lot of my childhood I guess I don't know but yeah I call clean my home because my parents are there and my friends are there so yeah so that's gonna be the first time like he'll see everything so I'm excited but first we need to clean this house because this house is a mess and I know y'all probably y'all don't want to see it, but mm, I'll show you a little bit. Ooh, name is Beretta. She chilling, but yeah, clean all that. Y'all don't even want to see all this. Look at this. It needs to be cleaned, and yeah, we're not even going to the bedroom, but yeah, everything needs to be cleaned. So. That's what we're gonna be doing for like the next couple of hours and then yeah and just see how that goes and i'll be back later or maybe even tomorrow well probably later because i want to show you guys what i pack and what i have you know to wear so yeah i'll see you then <laughs> hey guys so happy thanksgiving it is thursday the next day so I know I told you I was probably gonna come back and show you guys what all that I was wearing and everything, but plans changed. Got cleaning took a little longer than usual. I had to pull up clothes and everything too. So we are on the road right now. All of us, even little Miss Beretta back here. Beretta, say hi. <laughs> so yeah, so. We're on the road. We just made it to Waco and everything. So we got like an hour and a half left to get to our destination. So, yeah. So we're on the way. So I guess I'll let you guys know when we get there. All right. Okay, so we decided to stop at Bucky's because Colin has never been to Bucky's. So that's what we're doing right now and we just pull up into the parking lot and it's like super duper packed like it's so weird i feel like yeah a lot of people come here but i don't think i've ever seen it like this packed before crazy so yeah so i'll let you guys know what all he gets from here okay look at this girl oh my god girl there's other dogs out there so now she's over here going crazy Beretta it is okay I mean she's already went to the bathroom so you're you're not going out there yeah I don't know if you can see look Bucky's but yeah it's hard to see but look at this girl This is her all the time when she sees another dog, like while she's on car. This is so crazy. It's okay, baby. Okay, so we are back on the road. So he did go ahead and give me my fever nuggets because that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna have him try these when we get to our destination as well because he's never. But they're good. I what? thought they were gonna be like chicken nuggets. I didn't realize they were just like little candy. Yeah, like snack like type stuff. But they're good. 
And then he also got just like some energy drinks and some truly drinks. But he was saying that there was just like a big Walmart, but like a gas station like version. Like beer. That car. Dead stuff on the road. Mm -mm. But yeah. he was like, it's just a lot of stuff in there. Right. Yeah, too much stuff. <laughs> but I'm like, he even going to the bathrooms and I was telling him like they have like one of the cleanest bathrooms. But I'm like, he ain't even going there. But yeah. So we're about like 30 minutes away. We're in like Temple right now. Yeah. So we're getting close. It's exciting. So once we get in clean, I'll probably get back in here. So yeah. Alrighty. Hey you guys, I am back. So today is the next day. It is Friday today after Thanksgiving. So a recap of yesterday. Yesterday we made it here everybody hugs and everything and then we just started helping out with cooking and everything a little bit of drinks but yeah mostly just helping out with cooking and then we ate and everything we had greens mac and cheese turkey of course um sweet potatoes rolls and stuffing and yeah, and then my mom made banana pudding, but I haven't even tried that yet because yesterday I was full, so I didn't really want anything else. And then this morning, we woke up, my parents and my little brother, they were all going to the Baylor and UT Austin game. They wanted Colin to go, but Colin had to work today, so they all went and... Me and Colin were here, so I made breakfast. We had eggs, bacon, he had grits, and some turkey, but I had eggs and bacon, and I made it into a sandwich with a croissant, and that's what I ate. And then I was watching Hocus Pocus 2, because I haven't seen that, so I watched it while Colin was working, and me and Bretta was just chilling, but even though she's still being a little bit bad, we need to go and give her some medicine, but Colin acting like he don't want to give her no medicine, so we're going to see. And today, we should be going to go see my friends, so we'll see. So yeah, so that's basically what all is going on today, so we'll see, we'll see. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later because I'm not doing anything right now so I'm probably just going to be chilling on a couch I still need to change so I'm still in my sleeping clothes and it's like already like 12 so I need to change so maybe I'll show you guys my outfit of the day so okay see you then okay hey guys so I just did my well I just washed my face so I'm going to go ahead and do my skin care and I guess I just wanted you guys to see what all I use, I guess. So, in nighttime, at nighttime, I use this toner. So, it's from the Good Molecules. It's the Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. So, I use this at nighttime. And then in the morning, I don't use it. I just wash my face and then I use my serums but I also use this from the ordinary the vitamin C like stuff like I don't know how to, how to say all this stuff but like this is what I use and I use this only at night time as well because like it stings and everything but it says it's kind of supposed to like tingle and all that stuff so but since I've been using it my face I feel like it's kind of a little bit better. So right now I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. So I just do two drops on my face to make it look like I'm crying. 
can. Uh, grow the impact. That all in. And yeah, I'm sorry about this angle, but there's really nothing I can like, you know, hang my or put my camera on. So, and now I'm using the nice cinematic by the ordinary, so nice cinematic and zinc. So, and I just think they just two little dots on my cheeks, and then I usually just put this on my cheeks and on my forehead. Yeah. Do the same thing, like you pat and rub out. And then I go ahead and go in with my moisturizer, which I use the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion, which I actually like this lotion because it's not super heavy. On my student, it was really light. I uh, missed this one, so you can use it on your face and your body. So, yeah, so it's lightweight 24 hour hydration, contains six moisturizers plus vitamin E and vitamin D5. So, I use that nice, it's very lightly, so that's why I really like it because I have super duper, duper oily skin, and then I use the Neutrogena sunscreen and it says breakout free because like yeah I am very acne prone so I use this because it's breakout free and it's 55 um SPF 55 so and it says it won't cause breakouts and it's ultra light and water resistant so I also use that as well in the morning time and my friend would tell me like no you need to reapply it every couple or so of hours but I do not do that but yeah I just go ahead and put that all over and sometimes I put on this little acne spot treatment but most of the time I do not so that's basically all of my skincare that mm, Alright, what I'm going to do right now, man. Oh yeah, and this is the mask that I just used as well before. I put on all my serums, the Cetaphil Derma Control Purifying Clay Mask. So it helps remove pores, pore clogging impurities and improves the appearance of pores and absorbs oils to reduce shine. So that's what I use. I haven't used it in a while, but... I like it though, so. Sorry. Okay, so. We're gonna move into the bedroom. So. Colin was just in here laying down, so. He messed up the bed. So. Just fix it a little bit. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom, so I'm going to just show you guys, so let me flip. Alright, so look at this, so this is a picture of my older brother, but this is like from years and years and years ago. So that's when he used to play baseball, and then like my mom just have all this extra stuff, and then she has my little babe picture, which I was so cute. This is my guitar. And then we have a flat iron. Not flat iron, but the iron. <laughs> I don't know. But extra stuff in here. And then this is from me being on the dance team in college. I went to Blaine College. And yeah, and then my big, my big sis, Shannon, gave me this. Which is so adorable, so cute. And like... This is just going back down memory lane, so. And then we have like what I did 
eighth grade and freshman year I was on the Jetson Junior Rockets down in San Antonio so this is like a little collage of pictures of all of us and then and then these paintings are from Pinning with a Twist which we did um every spring break when I was in college and we went to painting with a twist because that was basically the only thing that was like open and something that we could do all together as a team and so we went but you know obviously we didn't have the twist because you know we weren't old enough to do that but we brought our own like drinks and everything a lot of us just went to sonic and got drinks from there and then they also provided like our coach provided like snacks and everything for us so it was really great so yeah and so yeah this is stuff I had on my walls in the other house and then I have like some of my teddy bears these are not all of them I have some of them at home as well but yeah <laughs> and then in here my mom still has like some of my stuff as well and a lot of mess as well she have my rain boots and then I have a sleeping bag right in there. This was mine. My shower caddy. Bam. This is my backpack from when I was on the dance team and then my little sword. Sword and eye patch. And then here's my other jacket, which I had two jackets. It was so funny. I opened the closet and Colin was like, how many jackets do you have of these? He was like, I swear you have one at home that looked exactly like this. And I was like, yeah, I have two for every year that we won. So I have this one. And then I have this one from high school. Because we won as well. And then I just have like old little jackets and stuff that... I didn't want to bring high school from high school and then this was from Spotlight Dance Company and then again the Judson Jam Rockets when I was cheering and then these are all my costumes from when I was on Spotlight and then I have my cheer costumes cheer costumes from middle school and then from the Judson Jam Rockets and then this is my gown mm. yeah this is my cap and gown Let's see yeah my cap and gown from when I graduated mm. I want to say yeah I have like some prom dresses and stuff in here this one was for my junior prom it's a short little blue dress and, uh, this one is my prom dress it's not even on the anchor this is for my senior prom. This is if I can open it. Bam. It was very pretty. It was a cute dress. My mom has pictures of me in it. But like, yeah, it's a cute little dress. But yeah, let me go show you all around. But yeah, by the way, Colin is sleeping in this room. <laughs> but yeah, look at my little pictures of all of us. This is for me. Me and Keyshawn on the rockets. Some more little pictures of us as bad little kids, you know. Yeah. See, this is me in that dress, so, yeah. Okay, 
So I think that's about it. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get dressed and then I'll come back home here and show you guys what I decided to wear, okay? See you later. You guys look. This is crazy. I can't believe I can still fit it. But then again, it's a size two, so I should be able to fit it. Mm -mm. Look at this. Okay. We're gonna go show Colin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Good. Mm-hmm. Still fit into it though. Yeah, you see, I zipped it all the way up and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, it's super long. I have to wear like some super duper high, like high heels that I could barely walk in. So you didn't even grow. <laughs> so I didn't even grow. Yeah, this is my senior year dress. Brother, you like it? Brother, you like it? You like the dress? Mm, she don't even know what to say. Mm -mm. Well, it's cute. I'm surprised I can still fit it. Alrighty, you guys, hey. So, we just got back from the pet store. We went and got Greta some itchy allergy medicine because of the grass. She's allergic to the grass. And so now, I wanted to show Colin my high school, so that's what we're on the way to do right now. So, and I was just telling him how like it's so weird seeing everything because everything looks different but it also looks the same so yeah it's so weird but yeah at the light you're gonna turn it left see at the jack in the box mm -mm. Mm, why babe drive it so fast because this dude behind me like got into the left lane Way behind me, he's trying to like speed in front of me. Like, bro, you are supposed to go over the yellow line. <laughs> is what you did. I cannot hear it. Well, it's so crazy being back. Yeah, I'm like, the jack in the box is not even open, is it? Why are they doing construction? It looks like he got knocked down, babe. Like, they, yeah. it's not even there. Yeah, taking my head. Mm -mm. Crazy. I used to go to Jack in a Box after. Either that or they're rebuilding it. Yeah. I used to go to Jack in a Box after every um, football game. Because we didn't get home until like 11, 12. I'm like, yeah. And plus, it was right there. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get me some Jack in a Box. Mm -mm. But yeah. But I was also telling Colin that how they remodeled our school too. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, that's it. It even looks way bigger and different. It's crazy. Yeah, let me show y'all. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, like, that's it. The school looks a lot bigger. Because they added on a lot of stuff. And remodeled like the whole like everything like it's crazy. Can I turn right here? No, you keep going. I keep going, keep going. This is the one you turn into right here. Look at it, it's so crazy.
It's so crazy being here. It looks so different because all of this I don't think was there. Substitute. Look, they're still doing a whole bunch of construction. A substitute parking for substitute teachers. Mm-hmm. Because they are doing a whole bunch of construction, which is so weird. And like that little area right there is where like the dance room and everything used to be. So, and they're doing a lot of construction on everything. And then this is the Leo Buckley Stadium. This is where they're having a lot of their games at. Because that's what Keyshawn was telling me, because they don't. A lot of Keyshawn's games were here. Yeah, like some of his home games because I don't know. He was saying that they don't use the stadiums at all the other schools. But so they use this stadium in another stadium. Yeah, I was going to say because this one's big compared to my high school stadium. Mm -hmm. Like my high school stadium was not this big. I don't know. This is our stadium. Our stadium just had like the metal bleachers. <laughs> just, like, concrete. Oh, yeah. We had a big stadium. And like the, the press boxes, that's what makes it cool. You have a whole like two-story press box. Mhm. Mm yeah, they they have money. Our principal had money. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, you should go up there. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure everything is locked. But yeah, for every home game, even like visitors' games. When we had visitor games here, we would still walk all the way from the dance room all the way over here with the band, you know, march and dance and everything. It's so crazy. The Norks. No. This is where we did um, our pole vault and all that stuff. I remember doing running and trying to get into the thing and I fell right there. <laughs> with my pole. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know, this is old. Well, they must have repainted it then because mm -hmm. it looks like fresh paint. They could have repainted it. I don't know. Uh, it's old, but he said, like he said, oh, they've been using the Leo Buckley Stadium for a lot of their games, so. So, because they don't have a stadium? I guess so. Which is so weird because I'm like every high school has a stadium, but I don't understand why they just use this one now. Because it's probably much nicer. Can't fit a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, no, true. Uh, and then when we, and you can see like the middle section, it has like actual seats versus just like bleacher mm -hmm. seats. Yeah, though, like the where all the people who pay more okay. for all those seats. <laughs> Mm -mm. And then, yeah, such a nice stadium, but then it's the kangaroos. Yeah, we were the kangaroos. Clean high school, home of the kangaroos, and I was a kangaret. That's not like a scary name. No. I mean, this was the first high school near. Kangaroos. Mm-hmm. Why the kangaroos? Why could I they don't be know. Like I don't know why they wanted to be the kangaroos. I mean, we have a lot of some I mean, Keyshawn goes to Ellison and they're the Eagles. So my high school was too Eagles. And look. This was our marching band stuff. They got a whole like trailer. And literally every school got one. I think it was like my junior or senior year. Every school band got a whole big trailer. Pretty crazy. This is mm -hmm. actually like a nice school. It's because they updated it, which is so weird. Because it did not used to look like this. <laughs> but if you see my um, if you see my um diploma, it would not look like this. Because it's a lot, a lot bigger. Which I'm like shocked about it because it did not look like this up here. It is so weird. Take us back. Take us back.
Hey you guys. This lighting is so weird. Damn. It is 11.55 and I forgot to do the outfit of the day so basically I just want to show you guys I was just wearing a little simple t-shirt so this is from Pretty Little Things and then I have on these low-rise jeans and they're cut up on the knees for both both sides and they're like this much above my ankle they don't go all the way down so they're low rise jeans and they're from lucky brand and they're really comfortable i think these are size four or three i'm not exactly sure but like they stretch they stretch and then what i wore i also wore my black jacket bomber jacket and then i had my black and white adidas that i usually always wear so yeah so that's about it and i'll tell you guys about today tomorrow okay so yeah that's it <laughs> man good morning people so it is saturday the 26th and so yeah so we are headed to go get some breakfast, me and Colin and this little girl, Beretta. So she was supposed to be on the floor, but she crawled her way up here and now she wants to be behind me. And I guess she feels more secure when Colin drives. <laughs> yeah, but we're on our way to get Cracker Barrel because that's what Colin wanted. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're basically just gonna pick it up and then head back out. But yeah, I just want to say good morning. And then once we get back, eat and everything, I'll show you. And then I'll let you know about yesterday. Okay, you guys. So we made it back. And Colin's already tearing up his food. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. So I just got eggs, scrambled eggs, and some sausage. And then... Pecan pancakes, and then look at the little syrup bottle. It's so cute, so cute. And Colin, what did you get? <clears throat> Some ham, eggs, tomato, and grits. Mm, okay, so good. And look at this girl. She said, I'm ready <clears throat> for my piece. A lot of ham, I'll probably give her some. And some ham. Right up. She said she ready. So she hungry. <gasps> Morena. I'm waiting you, butter. Oh, I don't miss it. You gave her a bone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hopefully she don't choke on it. Okay. So, the sausage is good. Nice. Salty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try the eggs. I just put a little bit of salt and pepper on them. What is hot sauce? Mm -mm. The eggs taste like eggs. <laughs> mm hmm. Let me see. What the... Yeah, you made a lot of butter. I think some of it hmm? might have been meant for the grits. Yeah, I think this probably was. But <clears throat> so some of this butter is already melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it, pour it on. One of the pancakes. And I got pecan pancakes. What up? Pecan corn pancakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and taste them like without. The syrup and everything. Yeah. Just 
we've got butter. Mm. May I have a napkin, please? It's nice and buttery. Thank you. waffles but these pancakes are really good though mm, I guess but it's really good I love mm. sweet stuff for breakfast mm -hmm. love pancakes I love waffles the only thing I really don't care for crepes or um crepes or french toast all that much I have some. What? I think I have some. What do you want? I know you don't like eggs. <clears throat> but she wants a pancake, baby. Hey, you know pancake? You mm, good? <laughs> I'm gonna a little piece of sausage. <coughs> she ate it. She can eat a pancake. Hmm. You got nuts in it. So? Dogs can't eat nuts. Oh, mm -hmm. I try a bite of the pancake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's over here. Just cut me off a piece. I can't cut you off a piece. Tear you a piece. You need me no knife to cut it. Thanks. I mean, Harry, you got your feet. You can put some syrup on it. Oh. You didn't put any on it? Mm-mm. I just put butter on it. I'm gonna wanna get the syrup everywhere. No, it's going a little bit this way. Nice and buttery. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. And then do all of this and all of this. And then I'll be back. Hmm. Alrighty, so I'm doing my skincare right now. So I just put on some sunscreen on my hand and I'm going to do a little bit of foundation mixed into it and this is the Fenty Beauty in 420 so well I'm mixing these together because I want like more light coverage so that's why I just mix them in together and then they look like this. Keep mixing. And then uh, I'm going to put it on my face. Because, like I said, I want it more like a CC BB cream and not like an actual, like, you know, full blown, full face of foundation. So, that's what I do. Then I just grab my brush and just blend it in. So, I still get a little bit of coverage, and then I'm protected by the sunscreen as well. So, a little like coverage day. As you can see.
And I like to do this because it's like, it's very natural too. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of it in the room. So, I'll be back. Okay, so since I have that one, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of concealer to my eyes. This is just going to help, like, liven up my face and give it a little bit of depth. And then usually what I do is just get like leftover product from like my brushes and do everything else so like my contour and everything so that's what I do usually so, so I don't look like full blown full face of makeup let me open up the window Mm. Yeah. yeah, you can kind of see it, but like, yeah, I just put a little bit all around brand here, like leftover product, so. Now let's see this concealer. I'm just going to dab it in a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with a, a brush mm -hmm. brush and the brush blends it out because I just want it very minimal minimal And then if you want, you can like dab other places, but I'm not going to do all that. Just going to go ahead and powder my face. Over here looking for my powders right here. I'm look I was looking for the Maybelline one, but I guess I didn't pack it, so I just have the cover girl one, which is still really good. It's just a little bit lighter. So I'll go ahead and just pack this on my face. And I usually pack this everywhere I don't put concealer. So today basically maybe everywhere. My little brother just pulled up. He just got home, so that means we're about to leave in a few because we were waiting on him to get back from his little school function to go to the mall because he wants to get his ear repairs because I think he has one done already. So, but he wants the other one redid. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And I think my mom too wants to get her ear done. Yeah, Keyshawn's out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't know if I've told y'all, but I've been using this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the CA. The Cat Eye London, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I've been using this powder for like the last couple of like weeks, especially for when I go to work at Twin Peaks. I've used this and like, it's like 
chef's kiss like it's so good like when I do my full face this just blends into my face like so good it's like crazy and like it makes my it makes my foundation and everything like blends in and like smooth and I've gotten so many compliments about it so about my face so so it's really good So just a little light work. I'm going to do my brows real quick. Mm -hmm. So I do a little bit. My eyebrows are like two different shapes, so they're weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer, and then that's it. I don't really put on highlight anymore now, so. Yeah, bronzer, and I'll probably do some mascara and mess up on it. Clean it up a little bit. Yeah, I just clean it up a little bit. Then that's it. natural light is so bright but looks fine I guess this is kind of a little too much but mm, it's fine it looks good you getting ready mm-hmm <sighs> I gotta do my edges and everything figure out what I want to wear here Take your water back. Stop throwing stuff at people. Um, don't be leaving your stuff here. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Guys. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys like my outfit. Come on. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys like my outfit. So. Let me go ahead and move you. Move you down a little bit. Okay. So, the bun down top flannel, I got it. It's from Shein. And I like it because it's like a good little fall colors. So, I like that. And then I'm just wearing them with some regular little black leggings. 
and then I'm going to pair them with my Doc Martens boots. And so yeah, so that's basically the outfit of the day. Then I have gold jewelry, ghost hoop, and I just have my class ring. Yeah, and I have gold bracelet. And I have my Apple Watch over there. And then, of course, I'm going to wear my glasses. I'm going to wear my brown ones today. So, everything will kind of be cohesive. So, black, brown, white, and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's the outfit for today. Yeah. So, hey, you guys. So, we are on our way to the mall. And guess who's here? We have my mom. Hey. And then Keyshawn is over here driving. This is the first time I've actually seen him drive, so crazy. Hey, no, I'm not scared. Shaking my head. Kind of like a little bit nervous. Are you nervous? You're fine. <laughs> so he said he's been driving for a while, so. I mean, he's doing good, but he's just complaining about the truck. But other than that, he's doing fine. Mm -mm. Hey guys, so we are back. So we're still chilling in the car. My mom is driving now. We're going to her little storage unit. She wants to get the Christmas tree, so that's what we're doing now. But We've been to the mall. We went to Walmart as well. And now we're trying to figure out what we want to eat. Colin said Cracker Barrel. Keyshawn said, mm mm. Quit joking. We just had that. Yeah, exactly. We just had it. And he said Texas Roadhouse. But I'm like, we just had that like last week. Last Little weekend. Little Italy. Little Italy. So what do you what do you think, Keyshawn? Olive Garden? Olive Garden is so like, I'd rather go to like a, a real Italian place. You know? A real Italian place? Olive Garden. I don't think they got there here. I don't know when I have Let's go to Austin. Mexican place. Mexican. Mm. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. No. That's a Mexican place to say in the podcast. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. I'm not really feeling Mexican. I don't know. Have you been to? He's not a little Italy. Oh, it's Atlanta. a pizza place. That's, oh. Okay. Actually, you know what? They, but they do serve like other stuff. Oh, not the other place. Uh, Big Bubbles? Bubbles or something? Big Bubbles? Barbecue. Yeah, oh, barbecue. Mm -hmm. No, it's seafood. Which one? No, the burger place. The, the last one they built. Red, red Lobster? I'm like, you can't even see. She's like, oh, red bubble. lobster. What, what about what is it? Razus? Razus is that uh, occasion place. That's in Market Heights. Razus. Mm -hmm. It's a burger place. Yeah, she's gonna go get the tree. Oh, no. Key, I think you gotta go get the tree. The tree. Why do I gotta go get it? It's too heavy. Okay, um, you the one got the big old muscles. Dude. You got the big old muscles. Why do I need to go pick it up? I ain't strong. Uh-huh. Sam, you lift two, three hundred some pounds, Not huh? You and mom lifted this girl power, so it's going to be You got it. It's mother-daughter time. We had that. We got some more now. Look. Look at all that stuff in there. I'm, I'm too sore. And the tree all the way in the back, so she's gonna call me to come lift all these boxes to move out the way, and then I'm gonna have to put them back in. <laughs> and then organize it a certain way too, because it's gonna be too, it's gonna be complicated. So. You trying to keep coming around? Where? 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 Here. It's not even gonna fit. So yeah, it's not gonna fit. You want your box? What box? With your mom's in it? 
Where am, where am I gonna put it? Kong, where are we gonna put it? What? Um, our my mom's. Your mom's what? Yeah, he still don't understand mom's. Oh. I showed him, I showed him like a whole bunch of TikToks and everything of people in Texas that have their moms. And he was like, I don't understand why do y'all need that. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing. Yeah, it's just a Texas thing, so. Yeah, I see your little pin. I don't like this picture. She she was making a picture. I'm like, okay. I'm looking at the pictures she's taking. I'm, she's like, oh yeah, this one look good. This one look good. I see the pictures after Dude, she got them. There's nothing I wrong. Like, what? There's nothing wrong with your pictures. No, that is. Look, there's nothing wrong with this picture. Why are you? Why are you? We're gonna come back tomorrow and get some decorations since you don't want to grab those either, right? We'll come back tomorrow. Where are you gonna go? Or next week? We'll come back. We can come back. Okay. We still gotta figure out what we wanna eat. It's the best. It's the best restaurant in Korea. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, nothing. <laughs> mm. Rudy's. This barbecue. No. Y'all yeah. had Rudy's, right? He hasn't. Yeah. I told him that we should go because there's one in Fort Worth. The one here not that good. But now I need to see when we're gonna move that uh, robot thing. Mm-hmm. Move it to the other side. But yeah, where are we gonna go? Well, oh, what's the best yes. restaurant? Yes, tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm the visitor. This is your city. And you know I always pick bunk stuff. Yeah, that is true. Every time mom picks somewhere, it just go bad every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm like, Some bad always happens. So I don't pick. Nobody's going. Nope. Oh, not on this side. Mm -mm. Okay, so, well, we still gotta figure out what we're gonna eat, so. What was your favorite restaurant when you used to live here? I barely remember the street, so. Jack and mm -hmm. You don't remember? You remember where you used to eat at? Jack and I told him I used to go to Jack and Box all the time after every game. Yeah, but that's like fast food. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, thinking about Jack and about my stomach hurt. Just like, I feel like growing up. Shaking my head. That's how I feel about McDonald's. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't McDonald's. I don't know how to go back We can eat way. McDonald's. We can go okay. Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Now. That's like my favorite. You, you can, can go he, can, he can eat Taco Bell, too. I can eat Taco Bell because I got some good options. Like mm -hmm. that, that double steak burrito. That's like my favorite. I love eating that. Yeah. I eat that all the time. They get that steak chicken one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's always getting bowls. Oh, my friend, when we go there, he get this this Mexican pizza. It look like throw up on top of it. I'm like, oh, I'm like, how you got that? That's what my mom. Pizza? That's what my mom used to eat. It looks so nasty. It looks so sloppy. I don't like it. It looks so sloppy. I don't like Mexican pizza. It looks sloppy. Like this is look nasty. I can do. Can you pick the sauce on top? Their sauce is exactly what he too. do. Those are pretty yes, good. Yes, sauce on top with them on the milk and cheese. Uh, it don't be no milk and cheese on top. It's out on the milk the cheese. <laughs> she said the no. milk cheese. It be like beans and milked cheese. We on top. Melted. No, Unless it is so all, they, all they put is, is they throw some meat on top and throw the tomatoes on the top and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to it didn't the cheese is under, it's in between the shell. It just look disgusting. I'm like, I don't know how he be eating it. He be eating it. He be getting like two of them every time we go. I'm like, man, that's nasty. It's good. Yeah. I used to get the uh, crunch wrap too. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I get crunch wrap. And then just like tacos are like some of the burritos. But. The thing is, if you ever been to Moe's and you had the Moe's Crunchwrap, the Taco Bell Crunchwrap is terrible compared yeah, to it. Yeah, so slow. It's like all fresh ingredients. It's so much better. I got two mm. points. I go to Taco Bell so much. I go in there. They know our, they know our orders. <laughs> you know. Oh, that's Keyshawn. We got it for you. <laughs> like, I, don't, I go up to the day. I don't even say that. He just put it in. Then just be like, give me my total. You. And I just pay for it and walk off. Mm -hmm. You know, I put my name key, and then they call my name. I get my food, and we all be in there. Mm hmm. Think about it. Mm -mm. That's how some of our regulars are. I'm like, oh, you want sweet tea, some salmon? Okay, got gotcha. you. <laughs> sweet tea is the best drink. <laughs> I get that everywhere I go. Besides mm -hmm. Taco Bell. We can go to Tilted. Tilted Kilt. Now you kind of making me want some uh, 
Toasty Kill. Toasty Kill. It's like a. Oh, no, it's like a Twin Peaks. I know it is. We went there once in Denver. They got that here. Yeah, it's by it? Colleen. It's Somewhere like, by Colleen. Like right? Yeah, by no, mm -hmm. it's like right off the Twin Peaks. Peaks. They're schoolgirls. Mm -hmm. Twin Peaks wear lumberjack princesses. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and then sense. they're schoolgirls. Like they dressed up in like the schoolgirl uniform. The Scottish. Oh, yeah, so yeah want Scottish. Y'all want me to go to a restaurant like that? I mean, there be little kids up in yeah, Twin like, Peaks all the time. Are you old enough? Old enough for what? For Halloween, we were like, you know how we were dressed up in like our little outfits and everything. And dude was like, oh, this is my son's first time here. This dude is like, no more, go mom. Oh, no like more than seven. And his father was like, can he take a picture with y'all? So did. Because we had, yeah, we literally <laughs> like lingerie in our yeah. little costume. And he was like, yeah, can you take a picture with y'all? And with that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Know, he probably just wanted to take a picture so he can like show his friends. <laughs> well, yeah, Zach's piece is better than Lee's though. Take Taking my head. But then a girl asked us afterwards. She was like, yeah, can I take a picture with y'all too? Mm -hmm. They're okay. Like just, I would say I would say yeah, mm -hmm. but it's five dollars each. Take the head. That's what I'd be I mean, some people some Vegas people stuff. give us money. Some people give us money to take pictures. These pictures are free. Taking my head. Pictures are free. I mean, they yeah, already they already. That's what I'm gonna start doing to you, Ben. If you want my picture, I'm gonna start charging. You. No. <laughs> well, Dutch no. Bros right here. That's what I was doing. Dutch Bros in the coffee Yeah, we've seen it. That's crazy. They got all these coffee places on one street. Mm-hmm. For everybody can have like their favorite one. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Why you gotta put it all in my face? Damn. Yeah. We're, we're about to take a shot, you guys. So we said we might as well finish the bottle. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And sorry, earlier my camera storage got full so that's what we cut out but now we're back at the house and we're just gonna take some shots so you ain't got nothing else to drink can i get some apple juice hmm? you ain't get it truly you didn't even finish that one what? Are you gonna finish that before we go? I hate to say yeah, it, it's like, like an hour for me. So. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to love. Cheers to honor. 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 Cheers to Because no, you're not doing that. <laughs> yes, you can cheers to love. But you're not cheering to all that. What is that? Popcorn? Kernel? Kettle? Kettle corn? <laughs> Say kernel. <laughs> mm hmm. You got it all by your face. And now we're just chilling before we go and eat. So yeah, so I guess they decide we're gonna go to Tilt the Kilt, so now Call it, you recommended it. Yeah, because a regular of mine recommended it. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shaking my head. And look. now. Brett is still being bad over there, huh? Yeah. I see you, you look at your paw, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. She's some little CB bad girl. Oh, if you got these, you didn't know. He do it like this. <laughs> that's how he, that's how Colin it closes it. He folds it once. It <laughs> just lay it down like no, that's not how you do it. That's not how you close. You know, be a chip smart bag. Idea. Wow. What if they made resealable chip bags? Because that would be yes, a lot better. They don't, they don't do that. I mean, some bags are resealable. Not really. I haven't seen any. Oh my God. Not no chip bags, but some bags. Yeah, just put them in the box. Like mm -hmm. cheese, you know, like cheese bags. Those are resealable. Why don't they make chip bags like that? Get more money. Oh, these are still now. Hmm. But yeah, but I'll be going in the cabinet and trying to get my bags and stuff wide open. I'm like, dude, like, why aren't you close my stuff and why are you eating my stuff? I'm like, oh, I was trying to figure out what they were and they told me what it was. Yeah, so chip back clips. Mm-mm-mm. I tied that shirt for uh, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. for one of my class, and then the other teacher did for the other class. It was like hard. It's <laughs> hard. It was hard. You know, we used to tie dye shirts in high school for I think it was chemistry class, and they had a whole event doing that at Amazon. They were tie dyeing shirts. But they knew what pattern. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Just crunch it up and just put. I mean, you can scrunch it up and do whatever, or you can do certain patterns. But I'm like, I don't know. I, did, I didn't do I that. Did a pattern just pop, on all my shirts, and they mm -hmm. look real good. It turned out real good. Yeah. So yeah, then you just put all the coloring on it, and then you throw it in a dryer. But the colors we wanted, like orange or yellow, mm -hmm. they were on orange. They were sold out mm -hmm. in stores. So I had to go to Amazon and get. It. Mm -hmm. Then, then uh, Hobby Lobby restocked their stuff. Then they was like right there. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had them after effect. Mm -hmm. They had them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you want the shirt. But I have She's going to show us the shirt, okay? The Georgia move, that might get off too much slip in. But yeah, you know, I never even told y'all about yesterday, so. My best friends did show up. Yave and Matea. They did come over. And Yave brought her little baby. So cute. That makes you want to have kids. Yes, of course. And I say, yeah, we're going to have a little girl. Mm. And he's like, no. <laughs> like, you know, we're going to have, we're going to have yeah. girls. We're going to have boys. It's going to be all of them. So. Three boys. Mm -mm. We're going to have a girl. But yeah, her baby's so cute. So cute. She she was something else, but she was only acting. She was acting out, but only because she was tired. When they got here, she was already asleep. So, and then we woke her up just to come here. So she was acting out. She was over here about to throw Yave's phone, and she was like, uh uh. And then she got mad because Yave wouldn't wipe the table when she asked her to wipe the table. She was like, Mommy, here, wipe the table. And she was like, no. She, said, she literally, clean. <laughs> clean. She was like, yes, Mommy, clean. And she was like, no. <laughs> and she literally started crying because her mom wouldn't wipe the table. I mean, but that's, that's how little kids are. They get. She's yeah. like, well, if I'm doing it, you're going to do it. <laughs> Little kids start crying for like the smallest things. Mm -hmm. That's why uh -huh, I'm good. Crazy. But I mean, that's like, you know, life. Everybody have kids. Well, not everybody, but I mean, like when you have kids, you know, kids are kids. My kids won't be allowed to cry. Indeed. You probably cried a lot when you were a child. Uh huh. I didn't mm -hmm. cry once. Don't lie. You can ask my mom. Don't lie, Colin. I wasn't in the crier. I was easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. <laughs> cover girl, cover boy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trigger my head. I could not. I can't see it. I can see you crying. No, I was. Mm -hmm. 
She said I was an easygoing child. Ask her. Mm. Was I an easygoing child? I was a crazy child, right? Huh? I was a crazy child, right? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you was you was not a good child. <laughs> he used to bite me all the time. When his teeth started coming in, you remember he used to bite me. On the back? Yes, all the time. Oh. And then you running around everywhere. That's why you busted your eye open, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ran into the table. Yeah. The table right there, he fell. Because he was running around everywhere. He was bad. These t-shirts are kind of bad. That's how you look like. You're going to show it. Oh, that's not bad. It's good, is it? Yeah. For my second time around. And I did how many shirts? For 14 shirts? Mm-hmm. I did like And you did it no, for 15 shirts. You said you did it for your staff or was it just the, for the kids? The kids, the kids and a, mm -hmm. a staff. Mine and I But this one's a bit green, but it turned out blue. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Say, they'll wear it. They did, and they still wearing it. We just got I did it for our fall festival. It is Sunday, the 27th, so, and it is 10.23, so basically almost 10.30, and I'm just now, like, you know, getting up, getting up. I've been up for a while, but it's me, first time, like, sitting up in bed, you know, and... Little Miss Bretta. Just chilling. She's tired. But yeah, so. Crazy. So, my little brother woke up and he asked me if he came out of his room and he was like, Jim, Jim. I was like, I don't know. Colin's in the bathroom. Like, he's taking a shower. And then Colin came out and now Colin is like, Well, are you ready to head out pretty soon? And I'm like, I don't know, I guess, so we'll see, so I'm gonna start getting some things ready to go because I have a lot of stuff, I guess you can say which, well, Colin says I have a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and start packing a little bit so yeah I might put on another shirt. Hey guys, yesterday we went to Earthbound in the mall. Since they were having a sale, I told Colin to get some incense because I like incense. And they were 30 for 30 for four dollars so it was not bad and then they had a hundred for ten dollars which is really not bad so yeah so we got all of those and it, it smelled really good I think I'm gonna just put on this and some my leggings and then my jacket and call that like a day because I really don't need too much. On okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed real quick. Okay, so I am now dressed. So I have on a tie-dye shirt that I got from Florida. 
and I have this jacket on that my mom got for me like some Christmases ago and just some leggings and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wear some socks and slides today nothing too crazy I have these black ones but they kind of have like a lot of holes in the toes so probably not gonna wear those but I do have gray kind of like long socks and the holes on these are a lot less you know noticeable yeah but yeah I don't know I I get holes in like literally all my socks and like I cut my toenails so I don't understand maybe I put them on like too tight or pull them up too hard and they just get the holes in them like super fast but I'm like I don't know I don't know what's wrong like what's up with that maybe I just pull them up too far but yeah I don't know and then again I do kind of get cheap socks so maybe that's also another reason but socks don't need to be expensive like ladies they don't need to be expensive I got them from Shein okay mm -mm. now I just take off take all my other socks these are like the socks that I use these are like hospital socks I just use these to like walk around in the house because I feel like I have to have something on my feet right for her. Unlike her, she hates wearing stuff on her paws. I gotta have some on my feet though. Because if not, I don't know, my feet just feel weird without something on them. Goodie bag. This is what all my other stuff is going in from the bathroom. I brought a lot of electronic stuff. So, that's basically all done. So, I have my laptop, which my laptop has been charging my. Apple Watch this whole time because I didn't have any plugs because Colin wanted to take my only plug and then I got this from my mom so we get that back to her and then yeah just throw everything else back in here Electric. And yeah, and I brought all these in Collins like, why do you have five bags? Why do you need five bags? And I'm like, I do not have five bags. I have my computer bag, this bag with all my toiletries and my makeup and everything in it. And I have that blue bag. And I'm like, dude, that is not five bags. But he was trying to count my purse. I'm like, no, my purse is not a bag. It's a purse. And still, that is not five bags. That's only four. Mm -hmm. That is basically a fun too. So, now I just need to do all my extra skincare and all that stuff so I can go ahead and put all my stuff up. So, yeah. I'm gonna be back. 
Okay, you guys, so we are about to go. We just ate. My mom cooked some eggs, bacon, grits, and um, pancakes. And Keisha made some peanut, not peanut butter, <laughs> but chocolate buttermilk pancakes. But I just ate my leftover pancake that I got from Cracker Barrel, the pecan one. But everything was good, so I just vacuumed the upstairs for her because of Bretta. Bretta sheds a lot of hair, so I vacuumed up. We basically got everything packed. Colin took my stuff downstairs, so yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and say our goodbyes and then head on the road. Alrighty. <laughs> We just left as you can see my mom was waving now we're on the road back to home so it says we have two and a half hours so we'll see if it takes that long or if it's gonna be longer because going towards Dallas is always a lot of traffic so we'll see all right that's basically about it I guess for this Thanksgiving vlog, well, Thanksgiving weekend vlog. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm right, Colin? Mm -hmm. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys have a good day or night. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.